Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of the Depot 180. With OTAs and mandatory minicamp now complete, players have a nice break until the end of July when they will all report to Latrobe, Pennsylvania to St. Vincent College for training camp. The offseason schedule has its place in the development and team building process, no doubt, but things will get very real at training camp once the pads come on. Some players that maybe looked good in shorts without contact will lose ground and fall behind the pack while others will make a name for themselves and make unexpected rises. It is an annual occurrence and we will have you covered here at Steelers Depot with our Alex Kazara on site to take his extremely detailed notes at the public practices. Those practices will be a little earlier in the day than normal with the Steelers switching up their practice schedule. Mike Tomlin discussed how it can help make sure the players get to dinner on time and take care of themselves off the field, which is just as important. There is a new strength and conditioning staff in town, so perhaps their counsel led to some of that decision. There are a number of players that I am personally excited about entering training camp, but the top among those are Calvin Austin III, Peyton Wilson, Keanu Benton, and Broderick Jones. Austin is entering a critical season for his career, entering year three. If he wants a long-term future in Pittsburgh, this is going to need to be the season to make a case for himself. He has every opportunity in the world with no clear wide receiver two opposite George Pickens, and he received rave reviews from reporters, peers, and coaches alike. Something that was really interesting to me was Roman Wilson, the rookie calling Austin the leader in the room for the wide receivers. If the Steelers can find a way to utilize his speed, then we could see a whole new dimension to the offense. Peyton Wilson seems to have a good shot at becoming the dime linebacker to make use of his athleticism. Inside linebacker coach Aaron Curry spent multiple seasons coaching Bobby Wagner in Seattle and made some comparisons between Wilson and Wagner with their athleticism. He is relentless in his pursuit, so I think he is going to pop in a big way at training camp with the pads on. Keanu Benton self-described his ceiling as being out of sight that it is so high. He certainly flashed as a rookie, and now with a year of experience in NFL weight rooms under his belt, he has a chance to become a huge impact player. He told the media that he lost 10 pounds of body fat. That is going to be a problem for offensive linemen across from him. Similar story with Broderick Jones, who flashed as a rookie and now has the benefit of a year of experience. Will he be ready to take the next step to being one of the league's premier tackles? And will his move back to the left side, if indeed that is what happens end up paying off for him in a huge way? Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle. And as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis.